Big pressure today, lads. Big pressure. We haven't won all season. In the 48 races held at Spa between 1950 and 2015, the race winner has only started from pole position on 16 occasions. That's good. Qualifying yesterday That's may have set the order for today, but expect the unexpected here us. in the Belgian Grand Prix. As the saying goes, of course, anything can happen. And you know what? It usually does. I don't want that. So here we are once what again, a boring race. Ready to go racing through the Arlene Lights to flag. 4.35 no miles of long straights, fast corners, and massive elevation changes. It makes this not only one of the most exciting circuits on the calendar, but one that makes for some consistently high quality racing as well. Simply put it, there really is no place quite like Spa. And it's an absolute pleasure to be joined once again by Anthony Davidson. We should talk about Alfa Romeo. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Mm. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having yep. a lot of fun doing what they do. Yep. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Front row lockout. I mean, it's getting a bit boring, Lucas winning it's all the time. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Gardner lines up on pole position. That's all you need to know. You don't need to know anything else. You've done well to put it on pole, but yep. we've still got work to do. Try to cover the inside line off the start. I'll try, mate. I'll try. I don't know if that was any good or not. Try and squeeze. Oh no, Lucas is gone. Can we chop one up the inside of him? Yes, we can. Is he going for the switch back? We don't care. We don't care. We're going rich. We're seeing it out. We've got to jump away from it. Still there. There's no DRS yet. Keep an eye out for him. It's not too bad. I thought we were gonna. I thought we were gonna suffer with that. Four start. I always get four starts. It wasn't too bad, I suppose. This is, yeah. Oh, he's got he's got behind Vettel. Oh, wow. Completely wide. That's good for us. For the drivers' championship, I mean, not for the team. That he's down third. Just a bit of breathing space at least. This is why we overfuel by uh, two laps. Turn the fuel mixture up. That's a decent start. Good job. Cheers, Jeff. It's nice you're actually saying something nice about me for once. I got robbed in GBR, so. Looking to make amends for that today. Still there. Steering goes so light in there, like I just think I'm gonna drop it. <laughs>
laps. I've never shot this one out. Ooh. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on mediums. Boosting them purple lap times. Spike shooting it. Overshooting it at the last corner. That was hanging with us. Careful of him. Check your MFT for a new strategy option. Oh, and I'm not going around corners. You want to go lap seven? You think we got the traction for that? Tires are lost. Right. Understood. Copy that. Extra laps if you think we've got the juice for it. Been running rich mix as well for a while yet. Lift in there. So don't want any dramas. Just keeping it nice and tight. We drop the rest of the period unless Vader's come in. Box, box. We're coming in this lap. Lucas is in the pits. Lucas in the pits. Don't forget, box this lap. Slick stop, Release, boys. Please. Let's go. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Go. It's okay. There's a gap. Driver behind. Our gap behind is 15.2 seconds. That's Little behind, they're on fresh mediums. Their tyres are one lap old. The time last lap was a 158.4. Status. I'm curious as to where Gap to teammate behind is 13.0 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. They're in ninth. The time last lap was a 2.3.7. Let's 
probably still got to overtake some people who have missed yet, I would have thought. He's having an off day, is Lucas. has come from from them. Unless they've done some upgrades or something. I didn't notice. They might have done actually. We're half a second up in the uh, in the sector. Pumping him in today. Leading our teammate by 16.1 seconds. Got that. We've got that rhythm sorted now. No problem. Still pushing. Oh. <laughs> A little bit too hard. Jeff's going to come on the radio and tell me to stop. Stop pushing for that fastest lap. Lap on lap. Seb style. Alright, we'll calm it down now. We'll just bring the win over. No need to do anything stupid. Four and a half seconds in the lead. First half for a mayor win. We're not going to be able to run in this engine mode much longer. We're about a lap over target. Drop down to mix too soon. Get it. This is going to be our first win of the season and our first for Alfa Romeo. We did it. Fantastic. We did it. You won the Grand Prix. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff. 
as my personal trainer Dylan always says, practice makes perfect. Congratulations to Alfa Romeo then. Get in this. Excellent win today. Yes. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs. And that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximize the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. We did. We did stay out of trouble, you're right. So here they come now, out onto the podium. It's thrilling to see this team go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best teams in the sport and come out on top. What a superb victory from the Alfa Romeo team. Look at that champagne. Well, substitute champagne. There's Nigel up on the podium with us. Alfa Romeo and team principal. And now let's take a look at the driver standings. It wasn't the best weekend either, and their advantage in no. the top <laughs> has been reduced. Let's focus Seven. on the driver of the day. Suck it. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? I'll probably go for Pierre Gasly. The team did a good job with the strategy to put him in amongst the pack, but it's the driver's job to capitalise on those opportunities, and he did so with a lot of skill. It's time to check out the Constructors' standings. Alfa Romeo moves even further clear of the competition. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thank Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. We're starting to catch up with those guys up the top there as well. It's a big haul of points there. Man, this was... Uh... I didn't think I got the best getaway, but we did manage to cover off. I thought Lucas was going to get get away here. But just managed to squeeze him out. Oh, maybe that's why he was slow. He lost his end plate. In one of his slats. Oh yeah, I think it was his end plate. Seb was, yeah, holding with us in that early part of the race. Some style shots here. Very nice. Oh, wow, is that it? <laughs> no highlights. Oh, well, it was pretty much lights to flag. So, we finally win. We finally did it. Thanks for coming on this ride with me. We finally got there. Now the only way is up, baby, for you and me now. So join me in the next race very soon.